Acabei de chegar aqui na Space Station Center, Space Center do, de Houston. Olha o tamanho do, da nave que leva os astronautas para o espaço. Velho. Gigante. Custa uns 20 e poucos dólares para entrar e o estacionamento é 6 dólares. Moultrie, Bill Wright, Bill Brockett, Ace Bill, Bob Zimmerman, Frank Batias. O nome dos pilotos e dos tripulantes aí da nave. Fiz uns vídeos ali em cima, mas não deu pra filmar muito não, tinha muita gente aí, não dá pra... Olha o tamanho, quatro turbinas, duas desse lado, duas do outro. Que gigante aqui, bem legal. E aí eu vou continuar o passagem. Compartimento de dormir ali. Ali é onde guardou o lixo. Ali o astronauta comendo. E aqui tomando banho. Almoçando. Ok. Um deles fazer exercício físico, tem uma bicicleta ergométrica aí. Como many days tem aí? É a nave que leva e traz os astronautas para a estação espacial. Missão medalhão de todas as missões que já tiveram sucesso já. Eles fazem um logo, né? Tipo uma medalha, sei lá. Alright guys, so everyone's going to stay in this area and I'm going to move forward. Hardware. They are planning about and developing new hardware. 
along with training procedures which will then be used by the astronauts at the various International Space Station mock-ups you see down below. If you take a look directly in front of you, you'll find the Zarya module. And by the way, the Zarya module is a green spacecraft. This is the Russian Soyuz capsule. Fun fact for you guys, the bottom of that capsule is real and it was used in space, but the top of it is a mock-up used for the astronauts to train in. With the space shuttle retired, it is currently our primary mode of transportation for sending three astronauts to the International Space Station. Unlike our previous capsule system, the Soyuz does not land in the water but directly on land. The Soyuz lands with the help of parachutes and retro boosters. The main chute says the Soyuz trying to set a rate of about 16.5 miles per hour. Further pushing the impact of landing are the crew seats with their custom fitted liners. The, the liners are made pre-flight, individually molded to fit each person's body. This ensures a tight, comfortable fit for when the module lands on the Earth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, feel free to take as many pictures as you like as you follow me down to your next stop. Oh. Не знам да го как за тия они вете фикал сенсори контроли. Да, на аз, кялки, ва и верен си, а мислам да бе пра марч. Ме чака бъде се дела, да пъде от поста на фото и да. Essa sala aqui é onde eles desenvolvem hardware, desenvolvem, sei lá, tudo, faz teste. Olha, centro de controle, centro de operação, centro de operação e controle, sei lá. Estados Unidos. Um monte de robô ali de teste, um monte de hardware ali. Hoje alguns não estão trabalhando porque é feriado, é final de semana. E aí como não está tendo nenhuma missão, eles... Ó, oh, tem uma aranha aqui. Olha quanto protótipo ali. Cheio de protótipo aqui embaixo. Dragon SpaceX, a empresa que está fazendo voo para o espaço. Ele deve ser o filho dos astronautas. Alright guys, I'm going to move forward, but y'all are going to stay right there. Alright guys, if you take a look directly in front of you, you'll find a large white pole. This large white pole is a functional model of the onboard ISS arm, also known as a robotic motion platform. It is designed to work in Earth's gravity, unlike the ISS arm. It helps train the astronaut crew for construction of the ISS. Now, to our left, and also directly in front of you, you will see our space vehicles. These are the space exploration vehicles, or the SEV. The surface exploration version of the SEV has the cabin mounted on the chassis, wheels that can pivot 360 degrees and drive about 6 miles per hour in any direction. It's about the size of a pickup truck and can house two astronauts for up to 14 days with sleeping and sanitary facilities. Likewise, the in-space version of the SEV would have the same pressurized cabin on the flying platform and also includes manipulator arms and an airlock for handling satellites and other objects of interest. Now, the rover, however, has six pairs of wheels, which can move independently from one another. This style of steering allows the vehicle to turn on a dime with a zero turn radius and drive in any combination of forward and sideways. NASA has developed a new spacesuit for both the surface and in space versions of the SEV. Astronauts can work in short sleeves in the safety of the vehicle's cabin and when they need to or want to for exploration missions. They can quickly enter and exit their spacesuits through suit ports. These protected suit ports keep the astronaut suits outside, allowing the spacewalk to start in 10 minutes. Compared to the current spacesuit on the International Space Station, which can approximately take two hours or longer for the astronauts to put on. 
For the newly designed space system and the ability to live on the surfaces of a celestial body, astronauts will be able to stay for longer duration missions to further the exploration of whatever celestial body they may be. Thank mm -hmm. you.